Don't they know I'm busy spoiling myself? Well, getting ready to go to Walmart. Guess I better put on my mask. to go to Walmart today and it, I think it's a really good idea especially if it prevents spreading germs and I want to be like everyone else and do my part if I can but if I have to wear a medical mask I want it to be an awesome one so today I'm going to show you some different ways that you can decorate your mask now I've seen some people sewing them and those look really awesome too um, but I honestly I do know how to sew but I'm way better at painting than sewing. So this is the first one I made. This is a SpongeBob mask. Cartoon characters work out great. I'm also gonna do a few of the Snapchat ones. And um, so really you can do any kind of design that you want. There's really no limits to what kind of crazy mask. You could even make it scary, but I don't know, not too scary. I've seen some scary ones. So. Um, check out how to make your own painted medical mask and I'll show you some of the ideas that I've seen. So all you need to make these are the medical masks that you find at, well this one is from Walmart. So these are the Equate brand medical masks and I used a pencil, a sharpie, and acrylic paints and mine is actually still a little bit wet but it turned out great and I absolutely love it. I will be bringing Spongebob with me every time I have to go to the grocery store now. So think of your favorite character or something that you think a mouth that would look cool and grab your mask, your paint and get started. A few inches later, day two, day three. First thing you're going to want to do is gather all of your supplies, your paints, your paintbrushes, a cup of water, and I like to use aluminum foil to protect my work area. This also really works well as a paint palette for mixing your colors. Now it is time to start drawing your design. This fabric is not exactly easy to draw on, especially with pencil, but pencil is the best to use because then you won't really see the lines when you start painting. So what I recommend doing is making sure that you have your mask facing on the white side and that the folds are facing down. Your drawing does not have to be perfect. It just has to be a general outline of the shapes that you're going to use. Now you're going to grab your paintbrushes and your paints and start filling in the background area first. I'm using a teeny tiny paintbrush for these small details and this material really soaks up the paint so you're going to have to want to keep loading your brush with more paint and maybe even mixing a little bit of water, not too much. Then all you need to do is take your little paintbrush, finish filling in those little details and finishing touches, and voila! Now you have an awesome medical mask that you can wear outside anytime you need to during this quarantine so that not only will you feel safe and be helping others, but you'll also be able to show everyone how creative and artistic you are. <laughs> 